All right, guys. So I'm going to go over my favorite enhancement from 2019 that I think is underutilized, especially now with 3D printing. It feels like everybody has a 3D printer. Um, luckily, I have the perfect model to do this. I actually used this for my cousin who sent me this model that he did in Inventor. I imported it and did a little bit of magic here to make a little surface that I'm going to use to basically create a texture off of. I, I could make a feature and then pattern it and do all sorts of fun stuff, but you know that would add a lot of overhead to my part and probably be pretty time consuming. Back in 2019, the feature that got added that we want to look at is called 3D Texture. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab, I'll just use this dog bone here. Um, but you can actually make your own too. It's just a bitmap. So let's go ahead and edit that. I'm going to go ahead and change the scale of this a little bit. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. Um, you know, maybe if we rotate it a little bit, look better. Something like that. Now, what makes this cool is basically I'm just going to go over to the solid body and I can enable this 3D texture. I'm just going to run the feature. It's going to make it into a mesh body. And here you can see all of the, the appearances that are applied to that body. So I can just check it. You can see something starting to happen here to this mesh body. And let's go ahead and maybe refine this a little bit more. Uh, the more refinement you have, of course, the, the longer it's going to kind of take to calculate the feature. But now we're starting to see that wishbone. And now we could also increase that offset distance. So maybe we'll just bring it up a little bit. That's probably a bit much. Let's go back to like two. All right, go ahead and hit OK. And you know, if it shows up like this and your mesh is pretty thick, what you can just do is change it to shaded mode and you can get a good look at it. And all you need to do to you know start your 3D printing process is just save it as an STL. So hopefully this is something you guys can use. I know that I started using it quite a bit. It adds a lot to my models. So have a great day.